morning, good morning. Got your cup of coffee? <laughs> Good. It was good. It's Friday morning. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good? Good? Did I get up this morning hungry? Did you ever get up hungry in the morning? Oh yeah, I did this morning. So I cooked me an egg, and hot roll, and some honey, <laughs> cup of coffee, some orange juice. I guess I'm ready for the day. I don't know what the day will bring. I did get the trash out to the road. Yay me! <laughs> you know, that really is a job because it goes downhill. And you have to put it in a certain place for this truck to come to pick them up, you know. And my recycle bin was full. Full. I must not have taken it out the last time. No, my sister took it out the last time. So I know it got done. <laughs> She's a good sister like that. So I'm working on uh, the baby blanket. I think this is going to be the center of it. And then I'm going to, uh, I don't know how big I'll make the center. But I'm using um, a pastel colors and... Um, pink. This is uh, Bernetta. Yeah. I think it is Bernetta. Yeah. Uh, Brunette Satin Four Way. Flamingo is the color. And it's uh, very, it's sort of glossy looking. And then I have the gray, which is Red Heart. I think it was Red Heart. Now I may be wrong. No, it's Stitch Studio. That's what it is. Studio Basics. This is also a four white medium. Uh, what yarn that is, but that's it. It's a really pretty color. Um, I, I can't say it's green. I can't say it's blue. So I thought it would be pretty in the baby blanket. And then, of course, I'm using Red Heart. Uh, the off-white color that they have in the four white. So right now I just decided that this morning when I was talking to you, visiting with you this morning, that I would be sewing in the ends. Does anybody really love sewing in the ends? <laughs> do you? No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Okay, well then, all right. I guess I'm crocheting is. We have to learn to do the ends. That's what makes everything so finished. Everything's so finished. Well, <laughs> Gigi said she was up and uh, got her medicine all corrected and everything. And, and so all is well with her. I haven't read the comments yet. I thought I might in a minute. As soon as I wake up a little bit more. Not that I'm not awake. It's just early for me. I've been up since 4.30 this morning. And the puppies were barking. I didn't know why. And I guess people, before they go to work, were taking the trash out. Usually I don't hear a lot of, you know, noise outside. But, you know, doggies just have really good ears. And so do cats, too. I think it's even run off a little while. Well, did everybody rest well with this fall weather around us? Is anybody feeling that fall weather? I'm sure you have to be. You're too busy because you're outside doing things and, and crocheting. It's a wonderful thing to be able to do it. You know, Joy Bird said that she's, um, you know, she can't see, so she feels to crochet. Can you imagine? She's remarkable, I would think. You're remarkable, Joy Bird. <laughs> you are. <laughs> well, we all are. We're all special. You know, if I don't tell you enough, then I need to tell you more. Because y'all are very, very, very special. 
If I could send y'all all fresh flowers every day, I would. Wouldn't that be lovely to get flowers? Cut flowers every day. Oh, once a week. Once a month would even be nice. Because you know a lot of flowers, when you get them, they'll stay uh, looking very pretty for a long time, especially daisies. And then you take the bad ones out as they uh, get aged. And you will have flowers, make smaller bouquets every day until one day you just don't have any more flowers. And then another bunch of flowers come. I'm sure there's some kind of service if you want to pay someone that they would do that. But you know now with the cost of sending flowers, I think the local florist here sends, I mean to send the flowers would cost you almost $50. And that's not just the cost of the flowers, I mean the delivery is like 35 I may be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I guess they figure people spend it on funerals, but I don't know if you want to send yourself some cut flowers, you know, if that is really affordable. Now, if I could get out and about, I'd just go up here to Kroger or Walmart and uh, buy me some. You know, they're only seven ninety nine or something, and they cut flowers with daisies and other flowers I don't know the names of that are so pretty. You can put them on a the vase. I've been watching this guy who uh, is in a uh, wheelchair similar to mine. And he has a YouTube channel. I think he's only got 20, 20 subscribers or maybe 30. Um, but I enjoy watching him because he's such a daredevil in that chair. I mean, he goes to those shopping. He'll leave his apartment and just take off across the, across the road at the intersections. And it is scary. I mean, I've done it a couple of times, not to the grocery store, but I have to doctor's offices and stuff. But, uh, I say, what is his name? His name is Robert... Shriner, I think is his name. But he only puts up a video, I guess, when he goes out. <laughs> Which is a couple, couple times a month. He'll go, you know, just out. <laughs> you know, the, yesterday I was watching him and he was, he was just a tootling, you know, in his little wheelchair. And he said, and all of a sudden this really pretty girl, which was, she was wearing hardly nothing at the at the Target store, hardly nothing, and she, he followed her in there in his wheelchair with his foot up, you know, he's like that, he, he's a, I guess a quadrupedic or something, he's just following her, every time she turns around, he turns his wheelchair around, like, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, but I mean, she's wearing hardly nothing, I mean, and it, it's like commonplace, and what's amazing, I don't know where he lives, but. I'm telling you, those girls were wearing like hardly nothing, and that girl was not the only one. And I'm not talking about a little girl, I'm talking about a woman. Oh my, I didn't see anybody that looked like me, <laughs> you know, in all of his little assertion. I looked and looked down my aisles, you know, as he went through the Target store, and I said, where are the people like me? Where are the people like me? I guess there's not many people like me to go to Target. <laughs> or we order from Amazon, you know. No, we don't. <laughs> I don't know. But I thought it was really a cute little, cute to watch him. Do y'all go to Target in places like that? I know you do. I know you do. I know if you have an Elmo, you do. <laughs> and you'll go out to eat. <laughs> Oh, my. But, you know, sometimes I think I made this yarn a little long. Because <laughs> I'm having to sew a whole bunch. But anyway, I'm going to try to cut this one off a little bit. Let's show a little subscriber love. Daniel.
Daniel. Hello, Daniel. This is comments for this morning. Hello, hello from Montreal. I hope you'll get this comment. It seems that the last two or three of the comments that I've done are not here. It was about the blanket with stars. There are so many on YouTube. Maybe YouTube deleted my last comment because I was giving you URL links to other crocheters. I don't know if they would do, you know, would, uh, I think they would allow that. The more people know about everybody, the better off. I would think that uh, I sent were giving tutorials about star blankets. Who knows? Oh, well, it's so easy to find your search in YouTube. You will see so many ideas. Otherwise, nothing special. I did not crochet this much, I mean much this week. Was too busy with cleaning, laundry, sorting old clothes, clothing to bring them to recycle bin. I have too much stuff. That is not of any use. Go it must. <laughs> it will be a long term task, but I want to do the bigger part of it before cool temperatures set in. I see your new work and and say, alone with myself. What? She's forgotten the flower on her crochet? <laughs> Take care. Stay in the loop. Best regards. She forgot the flower on her crochet. <laughs> oh my goodness. You do keep me in stitches, you guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my, here's Daniel again, this part two. Well, I'm almost sure that YouTube will be here in 20 years. Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias, in my humble opinion, <laughs> are there to stay, but I think that they will improve te 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 technically speaking, just like internet. Maybe we'll be able to share a cup of tea, yarn, or crochet just by passing through the screen. Who knows? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? We could just hand it right through the screen. What? Why not? If they can take a printer and print out a box <laughs> that you can use or a part of a heart in this machine, it's a 3D or 6D or some kind of printer. I mean, it can actually produce things three-dimensional things or well how many dimensionals so why not you know why not the movies have it the we materialize what Star Trek had it for years you know be me down Scotty you know what I'm saying <laughs> can you imagine I'd be talking to you and I'd say you want some yellow like this kind of yarn well beam this over there to Daniel or beam this over to Bonnie, you know, just whoever, say, beam this yarn over there. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> and our little print, and all of a sudden, we have a little surface beside our chair and materializes this <laughs> ball of yarn with a cup of tea. <laughs> and you can say, oh, where's the milk in my tea? <laughs> And all of a sudden, it materializes. Milk comes pouring in my tea. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We could go to town on that, couldn't we, guys? <laughs> Having tea. Wouldn't that be something? We could all materialize at one person's house every week. <laughs> and not have to worry about YouTube at all. We just get together by speed me, beam me down, Scotty. <laughs> Now, you folks that don't know who Beam Me Down Scotty is, uh, look up Star Trek in the early days and you'll know what I'm talking about. But most of you should know who that is. It's just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> beam. oh, yeah, beam me a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, here, here's Bonnie Myers. Morning, Bonnie. <laughs> My next craft show is September 24th. 
It's the roadkill cook-off. Oh no, y'all don't re eat really roadkill. <laughs> oh, it's just a name. I hope I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I finished the poncho, and I also have a boho vest done. You're just Speedy Gonzalez today, Miss Bonnie. I talk to myself all the time. You do. I didn't even realize I did until I was recording. I said, oh, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> well, we can do that. We're retired. We can do anything we want to. <laughs> that way, I know I'm having an intelligent conversation and I get it right. Oh, that's funny. Let me read that all together. That's funny. I finished the poncho and almost have a boho vest done. I talk to myself all the time. That way I know I'm having an intellectual conversation and I'll get it right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, all right, show off on <laughs> I like that very much. I like that very much. Oh my gosh, we've really covered a lot of ground today, didn't we? <laughs> First, we can materialize our own Scotty down my our yarn. We can Scotty down ourselves and go to each other's house and have tea and crochet. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be something, wouldn't it? You know, it'd be like a little microwave plate. You know, how a little... Or, or one of those little individual electric burners, you know, it'd be look something like that. Beam me down my yarn, beam me down. You know, Target could beam down and all the grow the big box stores and Amazon couldn't wouldn't have to deliver, but all the men and women lose their jobs from the delivery of Amazon. They wouldn't have to have boxes, but <laughs> they'll just send it straight through to you. Oh my, we think about that, but it could be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, it'd be hard to deny you didn't get it. <laughs> you know, he said, oh, I need a new crochet hook. Can you get on Amazon? Then you call, tell Alexa or Google, please order me a crochet hook, boy, size six. Whoa, beams down on your little table and you get your little crochet hook. You go, yes, I got it. And all the time, they know you got it. You, you're sitting right there. I mean, <laughs> and you say, oh, no, this is the wrong color. Take this back. <laughs> oh, that virtual living might be scary. You know, if I had more virtual than I have now, I would be saying, more coffee, please. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it materialized. I wouldn't have to leave my seat. I could crochet like crazy <laughs> and read and get a big bottom about this big, which is, I'm there. <laughs> to keep this year so, you know, I don't want to have to get a bigger chair. You know what? My daughter got me a walker, and that thing is 32 inches wide. I could hardly get it through the door. I don't know what she was thinking, but I have found that that walker does benefit a lot for me moving things. <laughs> I won't go there right now. But anyway, well, y'all continue to crochet today. It's just a rattling. It's Friday morning, and... Uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and remember that you are special. Each one of you are very, very special. Pray for Mother Earth. Pray for our bumblebees and our little butterflies and caterpillars and all the beautiful little things that surround us in a, this great big world we share. And remember that God has us right here in the palm of his hand, always. God is good. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>